Hello everyone and welcome to Hasty. In this video tutorial, we will show you how to use Hasty to work on an object detection task. In detail, we will talk about all the relevant tools Hasty has for annotating data for an object detection task, some tips and tricks you can use to speed up the process, different automation features, and AI-powered quality control feature known as AI consensus scoring. Hopefully, this tutorial will give you a better understanding of how to use Hasty. Please fasten your seatbelt as we are ready for takeoff. Okay, let's cut the crap and get straight into business. We assume that you already have a Hasty project, uploaded some images, define the necessary object classes and are ready to start annotating. For this tutorial, we will use aerial images of roads and try to find various vehicles on them. As classes, we will use bus, car, house, truck and van. Let's briefly check the hasty UI. On your left, you can see different instruments that are helpful for data annotation. On your right, there are the defined classes. At the bottom, you can see your images. And right in the center of the screen, there is a selected image. For object detection, you will likely use either bounding box or an object detection AI assistant. As you may see, every tool has a hotkey button. So for bounding box, it's R, for polygon, it's P, for brush, it's B, etc. You can use it to make the process smoother. To see the complete list of hotkeys, please check out the docs page through a link down below. Let's annotate the first image. If I'm correct, there are only cars in this image. So I'll select a car class. Then I'll select a bounding box. And all I have to do is to manually annotate all the objects on an image. Let's go. When it's done, you should change the image status to done. It signalizes automation features that the image can be used for their training. You can do it manually just by clicking done, or you can use a shift plus D hotkey to set the image status to done. To be fair, there are many image statuses. Each status is useful for project management so to get a better understanding of each status, please check the corresponding user docs via a link down below. Awesome! The first image is done. Great! However, to access hasty automation features such as AI assistance and class prediction, you need to label a fixed amount of images or produce a fixed amount of annotations. For example, to trigger uh, object detection assistance training, we need to label nine more images. As the project progresses, the automation features will be retrained and hopefully get better. Therefore, over time, you might not even need to label something yourself, as the algorithms will produce the annotations themselves. Fine. To get to the next image, please select it in the bottom bar or press Shift plus N hotkey and you will be redirected to it. Please give me some time to label nine more images 
for you it will be seconds and for me maybe 10 to 15 minutes of work see you soon It has been about 5 minutes since I labeled the 10th image. As you see, the icon for the object detection assistant is now blue, which means that the assistant is trained and ready to help us with annotations. I want to remind you that it used only 10 images as a training set, so its predictions might not be perfect. Still, using some assistance, in our case it's AI-powered assistance, is always better than doing something manually. Let's see how the assistant works. To get it running, you need to press on the corresponding icon or press J as it's the hotkey for the object detection AI assistant. Let's go. Just in a matter of seconds, maybe less than a second, we got some predictions. And as you can see, they are pretty good. So there is such parameter as confidence and using the confidence parameter, you can control which potential bounding boxes are shown. Let me show you. We'll increase the confidence there are less bounding boxes. We'll decrease the confidence. There are a lot of bounding boxes and some of them are noise. Uh, in general, higher confidence means uh, that the algorithm is very confident in its predictions. We will use 30 confidence. As you can see, overall, the assistant worked quite well. There are some mistakes in class labels. For example, this is, it seems like a van, but um, for an algorithm that used just 10 images to train, it's a great result. I'll accept all the suggestions by pressing enter and we'll review them later on. Let me label 20 more images using Object Detection Assistant before we move to the next part. At this point, we have about 30 images labeled. We can proceed and annotate more images, but I suggest we assess what we've done so far using the AI consensus scoring feature. Fortunately, it's very easy to use AI consensus scoring in Hasty since it's a built-in feature. All we need to do is to click on the pop-up menu press on the AI consensus scoring phrase and we will be redirected to the AI consensus scoring environment. All we have to do from now is to schedule a new run. Let's give it some name, for example, test. Since we are doing an object detection task, we can do either class review or object detection review. 
If we choose class review, AI CS will find annotations with the wrong class and highlight them for us. If we do an object detection review, AI CS will search for bounding boxes with the wrong shape, different artifacts, uh, missed annotations, and extra labels. I suggest us using a class review as an example, and um, one important thing that we need to highlight is that AI consensus scoring will run only on the images that are set as done. So AI CS will use only those images that we label throughout the work. Another important thing to mention is the retrain model flag. If it's toggled off, AI CS will use the model from the object detection AI assistant, which might be outdated. So I recommend retraining a model just to make sure that the algorithms are up to date and have a better chances of producing nice results. Let's schedule a run and I'll be back to you as soon as the run completes. Okay, so the AICS runs are complete, which is great. It took them about 10 to 15 minutes to run, which is very fast. Still, it's important to highlight that more data mean longer runs. As you can see, the object detection run didn't find any errors, which means we are good in terms of object detection. Let's check out the class review then. Just click on the run's name to see the suggestions. As you might remember, class review checks the classes assigned to annotations. As you can see, it found 19 potential mistakes we need to resolve. AICS allows you to accept or reject its suggestions. The potential mistakes are sorted with the most likely errors being at the top. That is how you do quality control with AI consensus scoring. You do not look for mistakes yourself you just resolve the potential ones predicted by algorithms which spare you tons of time. Unfortunately, the results of the class review run are more of the noise, but they are still helpful to get a better understanding of how AI models work. For example, if you have a lot of wrong suggestions, just like in our case it might signalize of a class imbalance. In our case, we didn't annotate many vans or trucks, so the algorithms didn't have a chance to learn their appearance. More vans and trucks annotations will fix such a problem. Additionally, you can review the suggestions directly in the annotation environment. Let me show you how to do it. First of all, you return to the annotation environment. Click on the advanced filters button. Choose the necessary AI consensus scoring run, for example, test. Filter the images. For example, I'll select only images with unresolved errors and simply review all the potential mistakes in the annotation view. Just click on the exclamation mark and either accept or reject the suggestion. Overall, we produced almost a thousand annotations and checked them using AI-powered solutions in less than an hour. It is a great result. We hope that this video helped you get a glimpse of hasty potential. If you are looking for an ML platform, look no further. Hasty is a vision AI platform that helps you throughout the ML lifecycle. In short, we take care a lot of the ML ops so you don't have to. Please check out our content hub 
or book a demo via the link below if you want to know more. Thanks for staying with us and have a good one. Peace.